Released in 2006 by ABC Productions, Ugly Betty is an American adaptation of the popular and one of the longest-running Colombian telenovelas, Yo Soy Betty La Fea. I first discovered this show through Alex Myers. Alex Myers is a YouTuber who reviews films and shows. And around March 2022, he reviewed how great of a show Ugly Betty is. And that is actually high praise coming from Alex since he loves to make fun of shows. He usually calls shows weird or that it doesn't make sense. But he entitled his review of Ugly Betty as Ugly Betty was the best show everyone forgot. So of course, I knew it was going to be good. Plus, Ugly Betty was already sort of familiar to me since we also have our very own Filipino adaptation called Betty La Fea, starring Bea Alonzo as Betty and John Lloyd Cruz as Armando. Although I've only watched a few episodes of the Filipino version. And thanks to Disney Plus finally being available here in our country, I was able to watch this amazing series. And let me tell you, I knew that Ugly Betty was good, but I didn't expect to like it so much to the point that I made a video about it. Alex was right. Ugly Betty is the best show everyone forgot about. So this is me recommending another series you should watch. Hi, I'm Zidney, and this is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly Betty. I know that I call my video the good, the bad, and the ugly Betty. But I'll start with the ugly Betty, or simply explain what this show is all about. Don't worry, I won't spoil anything big. Just enough to get you to watch the show. Ugly Betty is about sweet and smart Betty Suarez, who aspires to run her very own magazine company. However, in order to do that, she needs to start from the bottom. Initially rejected in the fashion magazine industry because of her bizarre wardrobe choices, Betty is eventually hired as Daniel's assistant because of her physical appearance. Daniel, Armando in the original telenovela, is the spoiled son of Bradford Mead, the owner of the well-known Mead publication company. Daniel was appointed as the editor-in-chief of Mode magazine, their fashion publication. Daniel has a tendency to sleep with his assistants, so when Daniel's father saw Betty, he knew that Betty would be the perfect assistant to Daniel, if you know what I mean. So of course, Ugly Betty revolves around how ugly Betty works in the beautiful world of the fashion magazine, and it's really, really interesting to watch. Honestly, there are so many good things about Ugly Betty, but what really made Ugly Betty such a great show are the characters. The characters are absolutely likable. They feel like real people. Even Wilhelmina, the main antagonist of the show, is understandable, and you know where she is coming from. I found myself wanting to see her win many times throughout the show. And despite the bad guy's bad intentions, you could see that there is still goodness in them. Yes, they would sometimes do things that are frowned upon, but in the end, they know what's right and they eventually do it. It was also great to witness Betty's goodness conquering whatever they throw at her. Despite being treated badly, mainly because of her physical appearance, Betty still manages to be kind and she always, always perseveres. Betty's good example reminds me of a Bible verse that says, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And we constantly see Betty overcome evil with good. Overall, Ugly Betty comprises many likable and relatable characters, is cleverly and genuinely funny, and at the end of the day, is packed with life lessons. Honestly, what's bad about Ugly Betty? It's how unfortunately underrated this show is. Okay, fine. There were some slow moments in the series which made me look at my phone more than what was happening to Betty. But that's just me because I get easily distracted, and I guess I do sometimes get lost in the world of fashion. But I mean it when I say that Ugly Betty is criminally underrated. When people think of American shows, Ugly Betty doesn't immediately come to mind. It's really such a shame since Ugly Betty isn't just a show full of crazy shenanigans. You will actually learn a lot from this show. 
And I guess that's why I decided to make this video, so more people will watch it. It's also been a while since I suggested a new show, huh? Overall, I think everyone can benefit from Ugly Betty. So go subscribe to Disney Plus and add this to your watch list. For a show that has the word ugly in it, it's definitely a beautiful masterpiece. Hello. So to simply summarize everything that I've said in the video, you should go ahead and watch Ugly Betty. It's indeed the best show everyone sadly forgot. One thing I really like about Ugly Betty, and I didn't want to say it because it's a bit of a spoiler, so if you don't want to get spoiled, stop this video right now. Okay, you're, you're still here. So what I also like about Ugly Betty is the fact that they didn't push Daniel and Betty into a cliche romantic relationship. They were just friends, and I really like the fact that they are just that. That was also a major difference in the original telenovela. So anyway, go check this show out for yourself. You will not regret it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.